Hello, welcome back. I've been making a couple of videos talking about major changes that took place in China after the death of Mao. In this video, I'm talking about how the modernist kinds of communists had come to triumph over other kinds of communists. One of the major transformations that had taken place right after the Cultural Revolution was a real turn within the party to a new emphasis on science and expertise. As I mentioned in one of the previous videos, Deng Xiaoping used this term seeking truth from facts. That became a really important and very prominent slogan for him at this point. Previously in China, ever since the Communist Party had come to power in 1949, people with a lot of political status and social status within the Communist Party were the workers and peasants. They were considered to be the backbone of the revolution, even if they had very little by way of formal education, as long as they were considered to have the right kinds of politics. Now, these same people were starting to lose their status within the party. There's now a new emphasis on the importance of having a high level of education, particularly a scientific education. And there's a particular respect for people, in fact, with engineering degrees. So we're starting to see people with engineering degrees rise up in the bureaucratic ranks of the party. In fact, quite a large number of people in leading positions in the Communist Party in recent decades have had engineering degrees. Hu Jintao is one of them. He was China's paramount leader from 2002 to 2012. He had a degree from Tsinghua University, that's one of China's top universities, in hydraulic engineering. And another is Xi Jinping, that's China's current leader. He has a degree in chemical engineering, also from Tsinghua University. It's no coincidence that both of these paramount leaders have engineering degrees from Tsinghua. This is part of a broader shift to an emphasis on the importance of scientific expertise that took place within the Communist Party after the modernist communists had really taken over control of the party from the late 70s onwards. In fact, Tsinghua University has a really interesting history in this respect. As I said, it's a really important, famous university in China. It's located in Beijing and it had long been a well-known center for training engineers and technocrats. And during the Cultural Revolution, it actually came under attack for training the bureaucratic class, which was itself being targeted by the Communist Party at that time. And Mao had actually sent a team of workers and soldiers to Tsinghua University to try to stamp out what he considered to be the elitist educational practices going on at that university at the time. In fact, this photo that I showed you in one of the other videos, this is Wang Guangmei, the wife of Liu Shaoqi, enduring a struggle session during the Cultural Revolution. This photo was actually taken on the campus at Tsinghua University. But after Mao died and the Cultural Revolution ended and the modernist communists really triumphed within the Communist Party, Tsinghua University again became a really important institution for training the very people that were going to put the new technocratic communist vision for China's future into practice. So it's not surprising at all that we might see the very top leaders in the Communist Party being graduates from this university. If you want to know more about this, by the way, there's a great book by the sociologist Joel Andreas. He's at John Hopkins University and he wrote this great book called The Rise of the Red Engineers, which talks about the political struggles and the factional struggles going on over these very issues based at Tsinghua University during the Cultural Revolution and afterwards and the rise of the technocratic class within China. Thank you for watching.